everyone, this is Veronica and this is episode 5 of Veronica Gets Fit. Today, on this start of this wonderful Monday, I decided to discuss body image. Uh, yes, while I eat this pop, this um, bag of amazing popcorn. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Yes, and because the other day I was talking to somebody about who my fitness idol is, which if those of you have Instagram, which I imagine a lot of you people do these days, social media is huge and body image is huge on social media, especially Instagram. Instagram's a big, big one. Uh, my fitness idol is Michelle Lewin. Her body is just, it's, it's crazy how, uh, it's just, it's, it's what I strive for. And then I started thinking, I should strive for getting fit and looking nice and being this person to get this fitness modeling gig. However, I was thinking about it and I'm like, I don't need to strive to be what she is, what her body looks like is her body. Like, I can't perfect that. I can't, that's, that's, not what my body is gonna look like. So then I got to thinking and I'm like, what is body image? You know, what is our perception? What do we think about when we think of body image? So I looked it up, did a little Google search, and I found out that body image is what we, per our perception, which a lot of you are like, well, duh, Veronica, yes, that's what we, what we know, but it's, how we find ourselves attractive, like what attracts us to us. A lot of people on here, on when they go on Instagram, when they look at photos, when they look at magazines, you know, they're thinking, I want to look like her, or I want to look like him, for the few guys, subscribers that I have. Um, and the thing is, is that I realized you can't. You can't look like that specific person because that specific person is that specific person. It's all in how you, you take care of you. And I started thinking about it. I started, you know, really doing some research and it is crazy the number of people that just have this perception. Like for instance, like I looked at what Michelle Lewin's view of body image was and her view of herself when she was younger were her legs. You look at her and you're like, your legs are good, honey. But she thought her legs were string beans. She thought she was too skinny. When a lot of us are like, I am not skinny enough. Like I'm overweight or I'm, I'm you know, my calf, calves are bad or something. I found out a couple of crazy things about my image, what my body image or my ideal image, my ideal image should be. So I looked up this thing online, this weight to height chart, because I was like, you know, a lot of times people are like, you know, for your height, your weight or for, you know, your weight, you should be, you know, whatever. <clears throat> so for me, I'm five feet tall, five feet even. I wish I could have that extra inch, but it's just not there. So for me being five foot, my ideal body weight, are you ready? Is 90 to 110 pounds. Freeze frame. What? I'm not a child, first of all. I'm a, I'm, I'm a woman. I'm. I'm okay with um, how old I am. I'm okay with being in that category, being an older woman, you know, um, going on auditions for mom roles. I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is that my ideal weight for me should be 90 to 110 pounds. If I strive for 110 pounds, I'm, I mean, I might as well just stop eating. And I'm I'm okay with saying my weight and I'm actually, you know, totally cool with it. I have no problems whatsoever. That's why I have these pictures up of what I 
took before pictures so that when I have the after photos, you'll be able to see those. Um, I'm 124 pounds, which I know you're thinking, <laughs> you're good, Veronica. But that's not what it's about. What it's about is being better for me. Like, you can be 124 pounds and be out of shape. You just can't. I've seen people who are out of shape and weigh less than me. So it's about feeling better about myself. And if I don't feel better about myself, then it doesn't matter what I weigh. It really doesn't. At the end of the day, this is what my goal is, you know, to be a fitness model, to do the fitness model search. That's my goal. That's why I make these vlogs. I'm thinking about it for 124 pounds. You know what my height should be? It ranges from about 5'3 to 5'7. The tallest I should be for this weight right now is 5'7. Y'all, I could be a supermodel. I, well, I'd be the shortest spectrum of the supermodel, but I could be a runway model. That's not the case because for me, I'm 5 feet weighing that much and then, you know, as I'm building muscle, my weight's only going to increase, which is hard enough as it is, you know, when you're building muscle, when you're working on, on doing fitness and things like that, you have to understand your weight is going to go up because you're changing out fat with muscle. And muscle weighs more. It's just, it's just a general thing. So when I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, okay, so I'm not 5'7". And at five feet, I could be considered overweight. I would need to lose you know, 14 pounds, 14 pounds. Now, I'm okay with losing five pounds, totally cool. But when I saw that chart, you know, it definitely let me know that, wow, um, I need to go with my own body. It's like obsessing over videos and watching videos and stuff like that. I'm looking at these women who are drop dead gorgeous. They've got the abs that I want, the butt that I want the arms, the, the chest, like the whole physique. I start getting really um, anxious and intimidated. And you know, I don't really get that intimidated by people or by things or whatever, but watching those videos really does make you intimidated. So what I stopped doing, what I, a tip for you guys, if you're dealing with body image issues, stop watching the videos. You don't have to stop for like if you want to get tips on fitness or stuff like that. Like there's a lot of the fitness videos. Michelle Lewin does great fitness videos. Stop looking at the photos. Stop looking at the photos. Stop going over there and, and checking their photos out and seeing what they look like and stop striving for their look. You know, you're a different person. You're a specific person. Like for me, for example, my whole family has round stomachs, like round stomachs. So abs, I know I have to work a lot harder for. I'm not saying I can't get them, but I have to work harder for them. I may not have flat, flat abs. You see all these magazine clippings and things like that where they talk about how to get flat abs and how to get abs in like two, five minutes, two minutes, you know? How to work your core strong, go hard for like 10 minutes, you know? And they show you these different workouts. What I look at is the different women doing these workouts and I notice, you know what? Every single one of them has a different type of body. Whether the abs show then, they show over here, they don't show at all, you know? These girls are still in really good physical condition. They strive and achieve greatness because they're not concentrating on what everybody else looks like. They're only concentrating on getting fit, eating the right thing, working hard at achieving their own personal greatness. We deal with social media. That's the main thing that we're going after. That's the main thing that we notice, you know? We notice, okay, well, this actor got their start working at a, a laundromat or walking the street and then you're thinking man if i just look like that person i can get that success by walking down the street and you know i wish i wish somebody would point me out at a burger king or see me in a crowd you know 
but that's not the case. This makes us down on ourselves and hard on ourselves because we're thinking, why can't we achieve this if we look like this? And the thing is, is that we all are individuals. That's what make uh, makes us unique. That's what God did when he created us. That's why I feel that for me to achieve my goals, in order for me to do that, I have to stop focusing on what everybody else looks like and focus on what I want to achieve. You need to Focus on what you want to achieve. Focus on your goals. Focus on your own image that you, what you want. Stop looking at pictures and photos of other people. When we go after our own personal self-image, when we figure out what we want to do, you know, we get in shape for ourselves. We start eating right for ourselves, you know. You want this piece of cake? Have that piece of cake. I've had moments of weakness. I mean, a ton of moments of weakness. And then I think, I can't complain about my body image and being sad over how I look. If the night before I drank, I, if the night before I ate a huge funnel cake, which I did do. I have done that. Focusing on what other people look like and the fact that you don't look like that and getting sad because you don't think you'll ever look like that isn't going to help you achieve greatness within yourself. Okay guys, it's time for me to go. Thank you so much for following and subscribing to my videos. I do these every Monday. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I'm also on Snapchat. Um, if you click the link below, that'll automatically subscribe you. You can also check out the videos that I have going on. And thank you so much, guys, for your love and support. Doing these videos, like I said, really help me. And I hope they can help you, too. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.